congratulations to Lunatic for moving on to the next round. The magician itself. Yes, the magician. Ooh, ito and na the ha. queen. Mainit na mainit na silaw si Pakot. Dito kay ano? Gold, golden hair kasi. Oh, golden hair kasi yeah. pala. Grabe yung golden locks. Yes. No, di ba? Goldie locks Gold pala. <laughs> Goldie locks pala na community na champion si Azelia. Yes. So, sino yes, my idol. <laughs> I can't lie. I mean, she's the only girl left. She's the only Ooh. woman left yeah. in this whole tournament. That's why I'm I'm rooting for her. I mean, as Let's go as, woman empowerment. Yes, woman empowerment. Kaya ayan si Goldie Locks nga kung tawagin ni JP Hilia, <laughs> di ba? Pero yon parin JP, let's do a quick lineup breakdown mm -hmm. from both of them since Gusto mo yung woman empowerment na yes. yeah, kindly. Oh no, this is not the signature. This is not the signature build. Nako, Hezelia, for the first time in this tournament, nang gugulat sa atin. <laughs> Kasi we're used to seeing her use the the bird mech plant lineup. Yeah. But now for the first time nga talaga, we're going to see her use a chitin jump, an aqua mid. Against Pakot, who's using the aqua bug bug. The discard lineup, the super annoying lineup for this season. <laughs> the most annoying lineup this season. Yeah, agree, <laughs> agree. Ito yung ginamit ni Hazelia kaninang lineup against Toothless. Eh. Siguro na tuwas sa lineup nato kasi napakaraming clutch plays ang na perform nato kanina, making her earn her top eight spot. Pero ito naman si Paco. Ito yung ginamit niyang actually na lineup na pangrain niya up to three thousand three hundred MMR ngayon. Oh my gosh! Actually, this is really a meta lineup. Eh. Yes. The Aqua Bug Bug. It's Actually, sabihin na lang natin discard lineup and the Pocky. Yeah, a better version. No? Mas simple lang. Pero sa team, ano winning uh, conditions dito ni Hazelia? Actually, uh, analyzing their lineups talaga, buti na lang gumamit siya ng cattail. Yes! Cattail. Kasi yan talaga, if madraw niya yung cattail na yan sa round 1, talagang may hirapan si Pakot, talagang counter siya. Kasi ang goal ni Pakot is to discard cards. To like, discard talaga. Yeah. But Hezelia, with that cattail, ma, ma, ano yung, maka-cancel yung pag-discard mo. But right now, she didn't draw that cattail. And nagsimula na ngayon laban natin. Okay. Ayan, early so, aggression from mm -hmm. both sides. Pakot, bumato agad ng Paki. Ang pinakamalakas na damage niya pagdating sa plant. Birthday. Pero sumagot dito si Hazelia with double knot and balloon. Oh! Galing sa kanyang mech. Nag-discard ang kanyang mid bug at may pahabol pang discard ang front pa. bug ni Pakot. Plus, the aesthetic. Ubos talaga ubos ang barahan ni Hazelia. Pero may damage pa rin galing sa plant. Mm -hmm. So, medyo even out pa yung yes. laban na natin ngayon. No? Though Hezelia, she lacks the cards to like really push through. Now, the question is kung mag-iipon ba siya ng cards para mabawaliwala yung discard or mag-all out siya para every time nagagamit si Pakot ng discard ay parang wala na siya madi-discard. Tama. Yan. Gumamit ng balon naman ngayon yung mech ni Hezelia para lang matanggal stun at the same time makancel ang last stand ni Pakot. Pero ito, early aggression again from the Aqua. Kung baga sinusulit ni Hezelia dito yung value ng mid Aqua. Mm -hmm. Since malapit na to mamatay eh. Very yeah. exposed na siya. Pero yun, I think Oops. magkakaroon ng trade. Pero buhay pa rin yung mid ni Azelia at may follow up oh! damage naman dito from the mech. Maglalastad nga lang ang bug na Pakot, pero yun, bubunot pa yan ng cards. Naku, bubunot pa nga ng cards. Naku. Nagkaroon pa nga ng cards. At karamihan ng cards yan, nandun pa nga sa bag na yan, which has only one bar. Ang ganda ng sugal ni Azelia dito. Three yeah. cards from her mid. Aqua oh! talaga pasok na pasok dito. Sabay talon, double damage, and boom. Zero energy si Azelia, pero healthy-healthy oh, pa. Oh, sino ba mauunang tumira ngayon? Gumalaw pa rin ang mid lane niya. Oh, yeah. And I'm guessing Azelia oh, will what? take the game number what? one. That was such a... I mean, Karabi. how did that happen? Parang ano eh, parang magician si Hezelia dun yes. eh. She's not only a queen, she's also a magician with that kind of outplay. Yes, you are correct. High risk, high, high reward. reward. Pero alam mo si Parin JP, may mga pinagkaibang klase ng risk eh. Meron good and bad risk. Uh -huh. Pero Hezelia took the good risk. Kung baga, pag calculated mo yung mga baraha, yung mga mm. damage, alam mo kung ano yung magandang risk and she made the risk and yeah, won the treat. Oh, that was what that gave Hezelia a one point lead against K Pakot. Yeah. Talaga. Nako po. Pero ang masasabi ko diyan, hindi talaga tayo pwede mag-celebrate ng maaga lalo na sa mga fans okay. ni Hezelia diyan. Dahil Sige, si Pakot ay ko. always na down ng 0-1. Mm -hmm. Pero alam na natin na nangyayari, nakarating siya ng top 8 na laging down ng 0-1 kasi meron lagi siyang comeback potential. Oh, okay. So now do you think Pakot will change his lineup or Hezelia? Uh, I'm guessing I'm guessing both, both pa rin eh. Since Pakot has a lot of weapons in his arsenal, also Hezelia. And ayan na oh. makikita na, same lineup pa rin. Same lineup. Parehong ma-pride. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, 
actually kasi analyzing it analyzing these lineups so yeah. parehas silang may advantage against each other yes. so this is the most the fairest fight actually that we can see from the both of them yeah so let's see the question ngayon is will it be the same story kasi it's the same lineup eh. yeah alam mo ang pinakabasehan niyan para GP is yung bunot pa rin eh uh-huh. and how they will play their cards on hand like yung sinasabi pero ang analysis ko dito kaya meron kasi si Hazel yung mm-hmm. anti-bug na aqua which yung aqua niya na naka-clamp slash plus yes. saddle yes. pero hindi siya safe aqua kasi kapag nag-double plant si Pakot medyo tapon na yung role ng aqua na yun mm-hmm. unlike itong shrimp aqua medyo versatile siya against sa mga lineup ni Pakot kaya nag-stay siya habang si Pakot naman, gaya ng sabi ko, ito yung pinanggrind niya sa MMR niya. Eh. Yeah. So, kumbaga sa Yu-Gi-Oh! merong Heart of the Cards. Ito, Heart of the Axis. Actually, parang ano eh, parang yung kaluluwa niya nasa tatlong Axis na niya. Yes! Eh. Agree, agree. Ganun eh, naka, <laughs> naka-divide na sa tatlong Axis na yan yung kaluluwa niya. It's just that Hezeria, during that game number one, she didn't even need the cat tail to win eh. Yes! Diba? Good point. Talagang nakuha ni Hezeria mm-hmm. yung ano, tamang timing talaga. And, gaya na sabi natin kanina, yung risk talaga ng high shield sa Aqua niya. Mm-hmm. Since mas mabilis yung Aqua ni Pakot, nag-assume si Hezelia na magtitipid ito and that's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. So, you know, actually, yun na talaga yung kwento kanina. So, kung si Hezelia, magagawa niya ba yung same outplays? Or she's gonna take things um, to, a, to a higher level? Or kung mag-iiba pa siya ng, ng daan? Kasi kanina, talagang nagka-kite jump siya eh. Mm-hmm. Pero this time, we don't know yet kung ano yes. mangyayari. Kasi it will also depend sa kung anong lalabas na cards around one. Tama, tama. Mm-hmm. Kasi based on my experience talaga, kapag kalaban mo ang discard meta, all you need to do is throw the most possible cards possible sa early mm-hmm. rounds. Kasi expect mo na yung oh, yeah. early discards eh. So yan, makikita natin yung early aggression from Ezelia. Kaso nga lang, ang ganda ng bunot ni paring Pakot sa kanyang front bug. So hindi papasok yung pangalawang damage. Okay. Tad-tad na ulit ng discard. Pero nabunot niya na yung cattail. Mm-hmm. Nabunot niya na yung cattail and ginagamit niya na nga actually ngayon. Oh, kita-kita naman. Nag-crit ang daming nga, card na papasok. nag pa. Ang sakit naman nun. Oh, Pero may pahabol na damage dito yung plant ni Ezelia with the prickly trap 133. Medyo mm-hmm. pulado na yung front plant ni Azelia at the same time zero energy sila pareho mm-hmm. actually isa sa mga napansin ko din dun sa round 1 na yun no? I was actually hoping for Azelia na hindi ma-discard yung acrobatic niya kasi yes. she really needs that kasi you'll never know kailan mo pa makukuha yung pangalawang acrobatic ba? Diba? tama kaya kailan mo talaga siyang isave and thankfully dito sa round 2 since hindi pa siya tumitila walang discard card si Pakot Yes, ang napansin ko rin dito, merong major strength yung dalawang bugs ni Pakot kasi high-speeded sila. Oh, yeah. Usually kasi mas mabilis na yung mga plants sa bugs, pero since mas mabilis yung bug ni Pakot, hindi nakapag-risk siya siya ng sandal oh. and veggie. Pero yun, umataki na ulit yung mid-aqua mm-hmm. niya. And boom, oh, may pinaki. trade-off na naganap. Mm-hmm. And uh, happy birthday, uh, happy, <laughs> happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday turn coming from Hazelia. So ito na guys, it's already a two versus two situation and makakapag-discard pa nga na dalawa. Meron dalawang acrobatics si Hazelia, key cards niya yan to win. Yes, so, ang galang unang balon, ang pangalawang discard naman ay Oy, ang isang isa. arco na ko. But that's just one. Pero ngayon, mas mabilis yung aqua ni Pakot and I think this will be enough dahil sa fragile. Pasok na pasok. Mm-hmm. Na, inexpect na ni Pakot niyang mahilig kang magsugal sa mid lane mo. Kaya Uh-oh. ngayon, <laughs> uh, magsusugal na rin ako na mag-overcommit. Pero hindi naman sobrang overcommit kasi, kasi zero Oops. cost naman yung pangalawang card. Pasok Ayun ang dalawang no. nut ni Azelia sa may balloon. May stun pero tatanggal ng bag yung stun kay Azelia. Pero... 1v2 pa rin ito, which is medyo mahirap mm-hmm. na sa part ng mech since we- weak ang mga mech against aquas. Nako, kailangan niya na talaga mag-shield up. Shields up right now and nakaredy na ang kanyang double acrobatic para and siya yung mauna next patay. round. Oh no! Inabutan talaga siya. Yes, so yun. I think Pakot will take game number mm-hmm. two. So grabe talaga si Pakot. Si Pakot lahat ng series yes. niya umabot sa three games eh. Actually, actually dahil dyan nadamay si Hezelia kasi <laughs> ito yung first series ni Hezelia na nag, nagkaroon ng 1-1 eh. Tama, diba? tama. And now,